know why I called you in my office today? Son? What? Let me put it to you like this. We want to thank you for your consideration of trying to be a battle rapper. But at this time, we have decided as a culture to pursue other candidates and other battle rappers that are more suitable and actually care and give a fuck about this culture. So with that being said, we, 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 we advise for you to pursue another career path or a career uh, journey because at this time, we don't think you're a good fit for battle rap. Yeah, we don't think you're a good fit for battle rap. Are you still not understanding? Okay, maybe I'll put it in this, in this term. You, you're a wrestling fan, right? You're a wrestling fan. You're a wrestling fan, right? Then I got two words for you. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You're fired. We gotta let you go. You're fired. Hit the bricks. Get the stepping. Skid that deal. You no longer a you no longer. You no longer are a good fit for this thing called battle rap. Go pursue, continue to pursue your music career. Go do Jerusalem too, nigga. Go, we don't have time for you. We have other people that have applied for this position as a battle rapper and have put in the work and observe your spot. So, we got a box at your desk, pick up all your belongings, leave your badge at, this, leave your badge at security. You're terminated. No, ain't no, ain't no bigger nine. You find a nine to five. Need to, need to find a nine to five, not bigger nine. You can go. You can go. Mm hmm. All right, got that out the way. Oh, by the way, once you, before you leave, can you tap uh, official for me? And bring him off his foot. Mm hmm. How you doing, official? Flatline. Yeah. Um. <sighs> we got, we got, we, we got to put you on a verbal warning. They're not gonna be written up. You're not gonna be written up because you've had a great track record of great performances. You had a great track record, great track record of good performances. But today, I don't know what happened to you. We, we got to put you on a verbal warning for right now. Okay. Put you on a verbal warning. I don't want to ever see that from you again. Ever. Ever in life. I don't ever want to see... Ever. want to see that from you again. Okay? We're going to put you on a verbal warning right now. If we see that again, we're going to have to put you on a rate. All right? That's all I got to say. You know what you did. You don't even got to go over it. You you, you may go. Take, take your 15. Um... While you're taking your 15, can you get a core and a serious for me? Yeah, get Cortez and serious for me, okay? Thank you. How you doing, gentlemen? Um, I only got one thing to say to both of y'all. One, actually, that's a lie. I suck, I lied. We want to give you both raises. Yeah, the culture. We want to give you raises because you, we, 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 we haven't been fully impressed, so we've been sleeping on your performances, and we want to give you both raises right now because your stock has increased. It has. It's increased. So we want to give you both Cortez, Sirius Jones. We want to give you raises right now. Mm hmm. All right. Uh, and one more thing though. From from now on. From now on. That's how you rap. From now on, that's how you rap. That's how you're supposed to rap. 
We don't need no long setups, no ad libs. Back to back punches. Quick to the point. From now on, that's how you rap great moments. Haymakers. That's what we've been asking for you for over a decade here. I don't know how you have gotten away. We've gotten away with it for over a decade staying here. But you're finally out of the mail room and now we got we giving you both a desk, okay? I was just waiting. Y'all ain't been in the mail room. I'm done. You finally meet, decide to make y'all supervisor, okay? I know you've been here a decade. Both of y'all will be supervisors, okay? But don't think for one second. You can't be fired from being a supervisor, okay? Thank you. Can you um get Jack Boy in Jack Boy and Drugs for me? Thank you. Jack Boy and Drugs. Goonies! Jack Boy and Drugs. Hmm. Not gonna lie to you. I didn't expect you to even still be here. I thought you would have left without giving you two weeks notice. I thought you, I thought, I thought both of y'all was never gonna show up here again. But you did. You did. And for that, we now want to make your temporary positions here permanent. I want to give you a permanent position here, okay? The, the re your recent performances, that's how you're supposed to do what you do. That's how you're supposed to rap. We've been asking for that. For years now. Okay? So we want to make your position permanent. But like I've told everybody else, don't think you still can't get fired. Okay? Don't slack now. You got permanent positions right now. Continue to do what you just did. Continue to do what you just did, okay? Because best believe, we can send you back down to the mail Now, we can send you back down to the mail room. Don't think we can't. I ain't playing with y'all. But once again, thank you for your performance. You had, you had a great performance, both of y'all. Um, Drugs, before you go, can you get a case of J for me? Thank you. You got me in a weird, weird position here because I don't feel like uh, what you did was enough to give any type of warning, not a written, not a verbal. But I just want to say we've been we we noticed, okay? You took a little extra minutes on your break. You were late from lunch. We we noticed you slacked a little bit, okay? You did a, you gave me a great performance, but you slacked a little bit. I'm gonna need you to when we say. Two 15s and one 30. You mean two 15 breaks and one 30 and a, and a 30 lunch. That's it. You don't get no more extra time than that, okay? Your performance is good, but we need you to, need you to step step it up a little bit, okay? All right? Step, step it up a little bit. Or well, next time, it won't be so well. But for right now, well, it's, you know, no warning. You know, no written. Just note we've been we noticed, okay? We noticed. Alright. I'm gonna send you an email to let you know what we noticed. I want you to sign it, okay? Once again, just we gotta, we gotta put it on file. Alright. Last but not least, um, can you please, um, Casey, can you can you get uh Mac, New New, and all the niggas that was on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just still be on stage. They, they, were, uh, they, were, they were on stage during your battle. Yeah, get, get all the niggas that were on, on stage during your battle. Find them. Can you bring them here for me? Thank you. We saw you. We saw you. 
Yeah, you want to cheer for New Jersey twerk choking, but then don't want to give any type of cheers for KCJ at all? I'm going to ask you this one time. Every single one of you. I'm going to ask you this one time. Okay? You can be honest. Did QP pay you off? Huh? When KCJ didn't respond to his DMs and didn't, it didn't accept any bars from him, did he try to pay you off? Huh? Huh? QP didn't try to pay you off? Okay. Alright. Well, I want to let you know. <clears throat> this may come to a shocker to you. As management, we had to, we had to make a judgment call. Okay? I know, I know y'all management, but we had to make a judgment call. We, we had to let your boy the Jersey Tour go. Yeah, I know, I know sad. I know, I know he's a great moneymaker. Yeah, I know all that, but he's costing us too much. He's costing us too much. Too much. He clocks in late, leaves early. He has two hour lunches. He has 36 minute breaks. He's costing us too much money, okay? Costing us too much money. He either have a great morning and a bad afternoon or a bad afternoon and a great morning. He can never give us consistent work. We've been trying, we've been trying, we've been trying to look over it. And I know you guys have been doing all y'all all y'all can to look over it as well. You've been trying to baby him, I understand. Because he does bring in great money, but at the same time, he's a liability. Okay? So we had to let your boy go. All right? No, no, don't, don't cry, new, new. Don't cry. I love your smile, by the way. I love you. I love your smile. New expressions right here. Don't, don't cry, please, please. But please, please, smack. I'll, I'll get you some Haymaker canvas, okay? I got a plug for Coach T. Okay. All right? Please, relax, relax. All you niggas in the back, I'll give you some uh, Black Wealth hoodies. Uh, I think Jack Boy, uh, I think he got a man. He'll give you some Black Wealth hoodies. I think I'll be okay, okay? All right? Once again, don't think we did, we don't think what you did went unnoticed. We noticed. How let your boy go? When he could come back. He can come back when Rich Dallas would come back. How about that? Yeah, exactly. You can go. Go on. job or somebody got to do it. Finally, I'll hold it down. We got the crown. My bad. I had to take care of some business real quick. Had to take some, some people to the office. Okay? But let's get straight to it. Ultimate 3 recap. The first round. It was awesome. It was dope for the most part. There were some people stock, stock that completely raised. And some people stock like completely plummeted. Um, but it was a very good first round. I don't know how to compare it versus Ultimatus 2 or 1. Um, but it was a very dope round. Shout out to all the competitors that were well, for most shout out to most of the competitors or the people that actually wanted to compete at the Ultimatus 3. Um, let's get straight to it, shall we? On the first battle, I believe was what uh yoshi g and drug drugs you did exactly what we've been asking you as a culture to do get to the point get have have make your punch a real punch and a haymaker you did everything we've been asking you to do and first of all if everything you're saying is true about your i hope you really do get your daughter I don't think that, side, side note, I don't know what it is, I don't have no kids, okay, so I don't know what it's like to, but I can't, I can't imagine, like Yoshi said, I can't imagine going through that where somebody would really fight, fight for you not to see your kids, that's, that's, that's atrocious, that's egregious, that's, that's not true, that's not being a true parent, a true parent? If, if the other spouse 
man or woman, wants to be in their kid's life and is, is it a productive person, there's no way you should not allow that person out of spite, revenge, uh, out of bitterness. You should allow that, don't sacrifice a parent, don't sacrifice a child's life for your own, for your own, uh, I don't even know the word, um, don't sacrifice a child's well-being, get to know their parent of your own selfishness, okay? That's, that's, that's idiotic. That's not being a true parent. That's not a good parent. You will keep your child away from your from having a, another parent that can help them and guide them and pick up wherever you lacking in. So, shout out to the, all the, the real parents out there, all the real moms, the dads, everybody want to be in their kid's life and fighting to be in their kid's life. Shout out to y'all. Because I don't know what that's like and hopefully I never do. Um, but once again, Yoshi, it's funny to me, y'all reverse roles in this battle. Everything we expected from drugs is what Yoshi did. Everything that Yoshi did, what we expected from drugs. So, Yoshi, the first round, you were definitely nervous. I can tell you, you, were, you were trying to get into the groove. You was stuttering. We, we can see that. Um, I understand there's hundred K on the line. I get it. Um, second round, you picked up your energy. You were, you were, you were more to the point. You actually had a point the first round. I don't know what the, I don't know what you was doing the first round. I couldn't, I couldn't, I was trying to grasp and understand what you were doing. I couldn't, I couldn't follow you, Yoshi. I really was, I really was trying to follow you in the first round. It was like, you really had, like you would hit a subject and then never really honed in to what the actual point was. So, you was, was like a run on sentence in that first round. Second and third, you were on point. I love the, the, where you went in the third. Um, but I had to give it to Drugs all three. Drugs was potent all three. He was barring all three. He was angling all three. Um, he found a way to make the whole thought bar and all that, all that stuff made it look less than he made it look less than, and it was it was it was it was potent. Drugs, I got I got to clap to you, so a red cup clap. Got to give you a red cup clap, cause that was on point, man. That was on point. That's what we, that's what I've been wanting from you. At, go go. I don't think it's on YouTube. Go to my Patreon. Hold it down. Rum versus drugs. Reaction. I said we need we need. <sighs> We need more from you, drugs. You gave us that. Maybe it's 100K that motivated him. Once again, maybe it's your daughter. I don't know what it is. But we need from this from you every time. Or at least close something, something close to this. Because this drugs is dangerous. This drugs is hard for anybody. Anybody. Anybody to do anything with. If we get this drugs, everybody. Once again, Yoshi, you did your thing, but... I don't know, maybe I saw the 15 Minutes of Fame interview where this is your first battle where you didn't really have anybody trying to coach you or help you structure your rounds. I don't, I don't want to tell you not to believe in your own pain, not to believe in yourself, but at least the first the first round and the first half of the second round, it looked, you, you didn't look, you look lost. You, you didn't look like you know really, really, really what do you want to do so focus more find how to really structure your round but you know how to do this you had toy you did this versus toy though you did this versus uh oh what's in the battle damn it not j2 what's it, j2 anyway like you know how to structure your round you know how to do this however if you but once but if you do need help i know it's hard because you don't know who to trust but try to I mean, I'm not one. I don't like hearing bars, cause I like to be surprised. But I'll help you. I'll have. I'll point you to Tony Bro or something. Tony Bro can help you. <laughs> um, so that's probably somebody you trust. Go to Tony Bro or go to uh, uh, who I trust. Go to CC. Go to New Era Pocket. Like go niggas at Ben Swayze. Go go to if you want niggas to hear your bars, but you know they ain't gonna try to do nothing goofy. Go to them. But uh, yeah, 
Drugs did the damn thing. Going on to the next round. Next, I believe was Prep and Sway. This battle went exact. You know what? No, I ain't gonna say that. I'm not gonna cap. Sway did a lot better than I thought. These veterans today, it's like, where the fuck have y'all been? Why have y'all been doing this before? All these veterans decided, oh, I wanna, I'm gonna rap faster now. It's like, why have y'all been doing that before? Before y'all think y'all needed all day to set up the punch and do all this and create a picture and draw it out and then do charades with it and then, no nigga just get to the point. Give us the picture. Give us a large picture. Just give it to us. You don't need to take all day painting it and sip, sip. You don't need to sip the paint and all that. No nigga, get to the point. Shout out to Sway, man. He did a lot better. He did a lot of veteran moves up there. Witty, funny. Made sure to cook at the very end of each round. Veteran moves. Prep did what he was supposed to do. He did everything I thought he was going to do. He had the punch lines. He had the wittiness. Does it mean he had a haymaker of the haymaker of the whole goddamn battle? Turned 15 minutes of fame into a moment of silence, nigga. <laughs> Almost threw my laptop, bro. So shout out to Prep. I think Prep, in the first round, you could have did more. Could have did more. Just a little bit more in the first round. Same for the second round. But I gave Prep that first round. Gave Sway that second round. Prep had the round of the battle in that third. So I'm slight edging it to Sway. I know Sway is in his bag right now. I understand you just lost 100K. I will feel the way too. But first watch, I think Prep had that first and that third to me. I think he was just a little bit more better. and More to the... He just had more... I don't want to say, fuck it, I'll say it. I, I think he was just more potent. Like he just had better material. Just a little bit better. That's just my opinion. But shout out to Sway, but prep this on to the next round. I think next, I'm not going to remember the fuck over there. Like, what am I crazy? We'll say core. I think it was core and official. Core. I'm going to be honest. Let me be honest. I'm going to be honest with core. Core is a person that for the longest time, I want to say since, since like 2013, 14, I have been silently rooting for core for the longest, for the longest, for the longest, for the longest, for the longest. Once again, I've had you beating that ice for that chain. 2000, I want to say, was it 17 or 16? Mine is, no, cause I got my apartment. In. So 17, uh, I've, been, I've been rooting for you I've been rooting for you, man, because I know you're talented. It just, you just need that sauce. You need that sauce zone. You need that shout to, uh, God damn, I can't remember. It's a little, little, little thing like little season pack, little season pack or something. She making her way up with Mickey Fax. But anyway, like, I've been waiting for you to, like, give me something. Like, give, give me something to be hype about. Give me, give me a moment. Give me a haymaker. Give me something. So I can be like, I told y'all niggas. Right? Even though I didn't really tell y'all niggas. But I kind of told y'all niggas, but I never tell you niggas. But like, I've been really waiting to be hyped and like talk my shit. And you did that. You did that. And there's the thing. I thought you was going to lose. Here's the funny part. Some, told, some kept telling me, pick core, pick core. He's a vet. Pick core. He knows what he's going to do. But I just, but I have to go off recent work. Official translates better. Not only on, well, mostly in the building. But also on Cam, she just translates better. She does everything you want in a battle rapper. However, Core said, fuck your bracket, fuck your feelings, fuck the fan vote, fuck all that. You wanna go, you wanna go viral? I'ma I'm show you how to go viral with that body bitch, cause I'm a body a bitch. Core, from now on, I said in the beginning, that's how you rap. Like I said, T top. That T top, your T top battle may be my favorite battle you've done. You knew how to angle, punch, back to back. Same thing with rum. I think if you were clean that rum battle, like I said before, I had you be in rum if you were clean. That's what we want from you, core. You do that, niggas can't no longer style on you. Surf, you shut shut. I bet I bet you surfed and say a shit today. I bet you he fucking didn't. And if he did, he capping. He wave capping. See what I did there? That's a rebuttal game, crazy. Freestyle game, crazy. But yeah. Um, 
official. It looked like, I don't know if you have a, a was it you? No, it was Casey. It just looked like you were going through the motions. It, like, it looked like you weren't motivated. It looked like you just, you wrote down the, you know what it looks like? To be honest, official, the material, material you had looked like, it looked like you didn't edit your material at all. You just wrote down the first thing that came to your mind, right? And you're way better than that official. On the last car, you fucked arguably beat Tay Rock. We're in a war with Rum. And I think if your breath control was better versus Arsenal, my nigga, I think that's, your material was solid versus Arsenal. I think if, if your did, breath of control delivery was better, niggas will be calling the Arsenal battle different, nigga. That, I'm dead ass right now. Shout out to Rum Nitty and Serious. But we expect more from you, official. I know this, this is not you. This ain't you. I know this ain't you, hustle. Uh, hustle. I know this ain't you, official. I know this ain't you. So I don't expect to see this official again. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't expect to see it. But what I do want to say, knowing a culture like I do, culture, don't all of a sudden start saying officials trash now because you got a body. Don't. Don't. They like don't do that. Don't do that. I know this culture, especially when you get body. I know how they love you, they hate you, they love you again. I know what they're going to try to do. Don't do that. Don't start capping on her official's name. She had a bad performance. One. That's it. Let's keep it that way, all right? Once again, a, a core, all three rounds. Pump one, all three rounds. Ball for ball, all three rounds. You were saying shit. I can't. Oh, my God. A court. He said, uh, nigga, court, court don't need a uh, court don't need official. This is jail ball. I'm like, nigga, what? Nigga, what the fuck you just said? Core man, it was on another level today, man. Shout out to him. He went to the next round. Next, once again, I know this is the part where I'm gonna start fucking up the. I think it was Jerry and Swamp. Yeah, I think it was Jerry versus Swamp. No, yeah, Jerry versus Swamp. Um, it was a dope. This is maybe no. At th at this point in the night or the day, this is my battle of the night so far. Both were. All six rounds, three rounds from each opponent, was dope. They didn't let off the gas. They leveled up or, or kept the same level all three rounds. This is hard to fucking call. One people, one they got. I saw one group on Twitter saying Swamp won handily. I saw another group on Twitter saying that Jerry West won handily. So this is a real, real debatable battle, for sure, for sure. In my opinion, it might even be a thing to where. Whoever went last, who had the last, it's almost like in in overtime. Whoever has the, the ball last won. <laughs> it's kind of like what it felt like because I felt like if you switched it, it might have went a different way. But once again, I don't know. Me personally, I think Jerry West said everything you wanted him to do. He addressed things. He had ball. Oh, his pin game. Jerry West's pin game is ridiculous. Schemes are ridiculous. He knows how to put the thing together. He knows how to, but Swamp knows how to convey a message. He know how to be witty, be funny. Like, like, word play, correct. Like, Swamp, once it, Swamp does what he does. I told y'all, I told. Y'all kept letting that fucking kid. I, I, I was like, Swamp ain't fall off, nigga. It was one battle. <laughs> Swamp, this is Swamp. This is who Swamp is. Y'all let one battle J y'all whole perspective like perspective. Like, come on. But Swamp was dope. Jerry West was dope. In my opinion, I can't remember the rounds over the top of my head right now. But I had Swamp, I, I believe, 2-1. I can't remember what round. I want to say Swamp 1 and 2 and Jerry West third. I'm almost positive I had Jerry West win the third. And Swamp Edge in the first two. But um, yeah, uh, Jerry West had a crazy. Uh, scheme in the third, like a uh, chime me, like he did all like the money investing uh, apps, like chime and the like. I, I can't remember the, the 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 apps he used, but he had a crazy uh, app scheme. Um, but Swamp would have haymakers too. Um, but yeah, I gave it to Swamp first and second, edged. But this is a close battle. This is where um I wasn't jealous of being a judge. This is where I'm like, I don't flip a coin, nigga. Like, I don't even know. I think, you know what? No. 
Jerry West, was it the second or the third? I feel like it was the second round he slipped. It looked like he was lost. I'm with Tony Bro. That that type of stuff, even if it's not a choke, it was very close to a choke. And we gotta we gotta we gotta rewind points. Swamp was consistent the whole round, but it stumbled and it really slipped nothing. So off that alone, um, in a close battle, we gotta start really nitpicking. And Jerry West had a few stumbles here and there. I wanna say like you know, maybe in the first, second, or second, third. Um, but Swamp didn't. So yeah, I gave Swamp the bet on Swamp. Did win, and he now advances. Shout out to Swamp. Um, I wanna say it was it Gigi Riggs? No, I think it was Serious Rum Nitty. You're gonna save. I'm gonna save Serious Rum Nitty last. Um, my bad. I got like Jay Dillon in my head right now. Um. Geechee Riggs, I mean, this went, um, I expected more, I'm, 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 I'm going to be straight up, I expected more from Riggs, at a, to a certain extent, I expected more from Riggs, um, at least in the first two rounds, it just seemed like he was just rapping a rap, he didn't really have, like, he had good, good stuff, just, it didn't hit hard enough, like, it was, it, it wasn't really like a, it, it was like a lot of pot shots, but it wasn't landing, like, he wasn't landing nothing. There's a lot of pot shots, but it wasn't laying nothing. That's how I felt. Geechee just got, I said this on Twitter. Hey, Soundwaves on Twitter. Geechee is the MVP of Battle Rap, bro. At this point, he's the LeBron of Battle Rap. He's the MVP candidate every year. He's the MVP of this. Like, he knows how to, he just has fun up there. What Tay Rock slogan? It's not a job to me, this is fun to me. He just has fun up there while he's killing a nigga. He's having fun while he's killing a nigga. This like, um, god dang, what was it? Was it Mr. and Mrs. Smith? Something like that? Oh, no, no, no. I'm thinking of a nigga from, uh, from Scandal. Anyway. Like, this is fun to him, man. Like, he just, Geechee's just that nigga. Geechee's that nigga. And I don't know if I said it on Kim or I said it out loud that I haven't been fully impressed with Geechee because he hasn't been clearing nobody. Like, I agree with what Maps said in terms of Geechee hasn't been clearing nobody. But he doesn't get cleared either. He's Mr. Debatable. But Geechee went in here and did what the fuck he was supposed to do. Now, we'll address the crowd. Riggs, Riggs did, I think, in the end of the second, to where he was like, he said a, a dope bar, and then they cheered at the end. It was like, now your niggas want to cheer, nigga, sit down. It was a little biased. They weren't really trying to give Riggs. That's why I was kind of afraid of the, I haven't addressed the crowd thing, really. I was kind of afraid of the crowd thing, because there are favorites in Battle Rap. There are favorites in URL. I know the niggas, niggas, Geechee, T-Top, Twerk, nigga. I know the niggas, niggas really love rum. There are niggas, and it might be unsubconscious. It's probably not even something they really realize that they are truly biased for. And I had a problem with that. And I, th I knew that was going to be a problem. It didn't really affect, it didn't really affect any battle. Except if it, if it wasn't for a, how the battle went, I think it really could have affected the battle. And I'm gonna really talk. I'm gonna go in on that, but rum, not rum. Uh, Gichi did what the fuck he's supposed to do. I'm gonna just a third round. Gichi was dope all three rounds. The third, I hated Gichi's third round. Here's why. Because I know he set it up to where he was like, "Oh, you're gonna go up here and do what I do," right? Even though Gichi and Riggs have been around basically the same time, right? But anyway, so like you wanna try to real talk and try to. Like, he tried to mimic what Riggs does, but it's like, nigga, that's what you do. <laughs> it's like, you try to mimic what Riggs does, but that's what you do. And then Riggs, in the third round, did what, quote, unquote, you do, and it sounded fire. He said, I had one brother in, God dang, I forget what the, like, I had one brother in jail, and one brother in a cat, oh, damn, I forget what the, the setup was. We had, like, two brothers, and, like, I had to be, like, Am I my brother's keeper? I forget. Oh, oh. I'm so mad. I can't remember that. How he set that up. But it was fire. I'm like, Riggs got this third round to me. Um, he's kind of slacked in the th like at the end of the third. But I'm like, I, I can. I feel like I can give Riggs a start. Cause it just, he just had a more. It just he told a story. He had a. He was entertaining. He had a point. Gishu was too. But it just like he was really trying to. I just wasn't feeling how he approached that third round, but Geechee definitely won the first and the second. A slight edge to raise in the third, but in the, the day, it don't matter. Geechee won. 
um, not only to me, but to the judges. So Geechee advances. Once again, Geechee is the MVP of Battle Rap. He's the MVP of Battle Rap. I'm saying it right now. He's the MVP of Battle Rap. Until he decides he doesn't want to rap no more, he's going to be the MVP every year. Um. Alright. Who would I want to address first? Hmm. Do I want to get y'all niggas mad at me first? <laughs> or do I want to... Let's do this, because this is going to be... Let me do the two controversial battles to me last. Let's go T-Top Jackboy. Jackboy, Jackboy, man. This low-life thug, scoundrel. Had the nerve to F up everybody's bracket. Something told I said this. I think this is the first battle I've predicted on. I said something tell me. Some tell me to put Jack Boy. Some told me to pick Jack Boy. Some told me. But I went with recent transactions. I went with the short bet. God dang it, man. I thought for sure. Oh, some told me. Some told me. Some told me. Some told me. Jack Boy, man. Did what we even wanted him to do for god dang four or five years now. We've been at before. Uh, 2008. No, 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 no. Three years. Like, we've been asking you. I've been waiting for you. I said this in the predictions. My favorite Jack Boy main battles. He has a phenomenal round. The other two are kind of eh. This battle, all three rounds were potent. He was scheming. He was, he was scheming. He was joking. He had performance. He probably had the best performance of the whole tournament thus far. He was performing. He was acting out the ball. Like, he, he was doing everything. He was moonwalking on that motherfucker, man. And I gotta, that's not to take anyone, anything away from T-Top. But it... it, it, it <clears throat> trying to think. How to, how to, how to compare this. It's kind of like when you. It's kind of like when you boxing. If all T, T top, ah, nah, that's not even a good analogy. I can't even think right now. Like, uh, I'm trying to think of like a nigga like Jack Boy was cross doing crossover moves and nigga he was laid up and dunking and reverse dunking and all that. T top was doing good too, but it just wasn't. He wasn't doing as much. Like he wasn't doing as much. Like that's, that's the best way I can put it. Like he just wasn't doing enough. He wasn't doing enough for me. T top. He just wasn't doing enough for me. He was good all three rounds. There's not. I give T top. I want to say was it the. It was the second. Was it the second or the first? I can't. I know Jack Boy got definitely got a third. I'm trying to remember. Was it the first or the second? I can't remember. One of them rounds. Probably the first. I think T-Top got the first. Jack Boy got the second and the third. Jack Boy went off. And the thing with Jack Boy is, it was, I believe, shout out to Battle Rap Fanatic. I think Polo said it. He was like, I was on the edge of my seat the entire time. Like when Jack Boy was rapping, I just, I kept waiting, anticipating what he was doing. And it was fire almost every time. I kept waiting. Like he would set something up, or he would do something, or he would like lead to something. And, and then he would, the haymaker would be fire. And it's like, damn, where this Jack Boy been? All three rounds. This Jack Boy, I know he messed up a lot of people's brackets. Shout out to him. <laughs> that low life dog, Black Wealth. I might get that hoodie, by the way. Um, Jack Boy, Jack man, Jack Boy man, Jack Boy man. I can't, I can't get over it, man. Did the damn thing, man. I love to see. We love to see the underdog. We love the underdog story. We love the comeback story. We love that shit. And uh, he did he did the damn thing, man. So shout out to Jack Boy. He advanced. <sighs> Serious goddamn Jones. Rum nitty. I said this, I tweeted this. I still believe this. This may go down as a battle of the year candidate. I don't care how you feel about it. I don't, I don't care what you think. This has the potential to go down as a battle of the year candidate to me. Now, I know a lot of niggas, for every reason, just don't want to fuck with just serious. I don't know if it's because of personal, what he does outside of battle rap, how they feel about I don't know. But to me, if Sirius Jones started off that first, I said, uh-oh. 
this nigga's gonna fuck up the bracket again. Like, it was like, uh oh, this is gonna be another nigga that's gonna fuck up the bracket. Cause nobody, nobody except Sirius Jones' mama probably has him win. And even then, it might be, I don't know, but it's just like, nobody has Sirius Jones winning. Nobody, nobody, nobody. And when he started off that first, and he wasn't C, 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 and he was just, he was just rapping. Yeah, the dun, 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 the Sears f- was phenomenal that first round. Like, he addressed, I know, uh, I think Tone Bro said, I didn't like that you just, I think, I like that he addressed ARP and the whole thing. It wasn't corny. Like, I really like how he did it. He didn't spend all day on it. He, like, spent maybe like 30 seconds, maybe 20 seconds, 25 seconds on it. Then moved on and then really started dressing down the rum. Like, said, this Sears Jones, like, God dang, this is what I've been waiting for. Once again, I love it when, because being in this culture so long, and you hear time after time after time after time, niggas, I remember, so I said, nah, I can't say that. I can't do that. Um, I'll just reference it. If you if you know, you know. I remember when Three Letterman was on Angry Fan, and I remember Sirius Jones was on Angry Fan. And how Three Letterman felt, it's how most of the culture felt. Maybe not to that extent. Not that aggressive, but how Three Little Men felt is how most of the culture felt about Sirius Jones. They still do to this day. They're not oppressed by him. They don't like him. They don't care for him. They don't think he's dope for the most part. Um, I'm paraphrasing because I can't say what Three Little Men said. Like Angry Fan back in the day. But um, <sighs> it's nice to see after year after year after year, people not giving Jones his respect, even though he hasn't really been losing. And I thought for a lot of times, he was really good. He wasn't great, but I thought he was really good, and niggas wouldn't even get him really good. And I've been waiting, once again, it's kind of like the Cortez thing. I've been waiting for him to have a performance to where it's undeniable. Niggas can't shit on it, even though niggas still are trying to do it. But it is what it is. That's just the way of way of life. I've been waiting for Sirius Jones to have that performance that I can go to, I can point to, that I can rewind. I'm going to be riding this battle for, for a long time. Um, and I just run many parts. And I'm just like, God damn, this is the Sirius Jones that I grew up watching. This is Sirius Jones. I think even Rum Nitty said versus Mook versus Jen. Like, this is the nigga I grew up watching. This is the nigga, the killer. Like, this, that's that nigga, man. Like, I, I, made me so happy. But that's the Sirius Jones first round. Rum Nitty the first was Rum Nitty. <laughs> um... <laughs> Rum Nitty, man. He's an alien. I said it on Twitter. I said, like, he's just an alien. Second round. I'm going to be honest with you. All three rounds were close. All three rounds were fired from both. Um, here's the thing. <sighs> this is where they're going to try to take away my battle rap badge. They're going to try, try to take away my job. I'm going to try to take away my tie. Let me let me put let me let me let me let me increase the volume on this Jay Dilla uh, beat tape. Um, <sighs> first round. Third round. I mean this with all sincerity. This is no trolling. I'm dead ass right now. Seriously dead ass. I gave the battle to Sirius Jones. I did. At first and third. Now once again it was close. But I gave that battle to Sirius Jones. Yeah. And god dang it. I got this is part of my head. I think of uh, Ben Swayze. Uh, shout out to him. New Era Podcast. This nigga. I hate. I, oh, I can't stand this motherfucker man. <laughs> Cause he always says, "Oh, Romney doesn't look good against them like, them like Fight Club, like original Smack DVD era type niggas." And it's not that. 
I just think it's a, a point to where, here's the thing. Snack DVD time niggas, we don't expect people versus Rum Nitty to have a good fight because Rum Nitty is battle rap today. The, 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 the series Joneses and the uh, Reed Dallas, they are yesterday. Rum Nitty is today. So when we see a nigga from yesterday battle a nigga from the day, we don't expect a nigga from yesterday to have a good day. You know? Bars, nigga. So, nah. But um, I think Sirius just, he really, dre- he addressed everything. He, um, I didn't think it would be smart for Sirius to go bar for bar, but god damn, that nigga said, oh, damn, I'm gonna know I'm gonna mess it up. The nigga said, how you gonna let, how you gonna let uh, twerk Wave a red rag in front of your face. I said, God, man. Like, so Sirius Jones was bombing every round. And Nitty was too. And Nitty was angling too. He was doing what I said he was going to do. He didn't like fully attack the ARP and Big K situation, but he dressed it up to where he attacked him not being a top tier nigga and not be respected as one of the best, even though he's from the old. Like, he addressed everything. And he did everything he was supposed to do. But I just think Sirius Jones was slightly better in the first and third. Like I just I just felt like he just did he was just better. Like I don't I don't I don't even know how to he, I just felt like he did it better. Like I I I, it, I just felt like he did better. It's not even a thing to where I'm like, oh, I had low expectations for Sirius. So I had high expectations for Sirius. I just thought he wasn't going to, he wasn't going to be able to Back to back to back to back to back to back. All three rounds. But he did that. And I thought he was better at it than, like, slightly better than Rump. Once again, I got to rewatch. Maybe when I rewatch it, I might feel different. But that's how I feel. Um. So, kill me if you want, but I had serious win in that battle. But I'm not I'm not mad if, I'm not mad at because I'll probably watch, go watch it back. I might have Rump. Cause that's mostly what, like Reed Dollar said, nigga, you would, <laughs> I went in the building, you went on camp. But Rum, um, I just, I didn't like on Twitter, some people were trying to like really discredit Sirius, like he was still ass, like he still wasn't good. Or See, that's why you wasn't on, uh, he did all that not to be on uh, the Hitman Cassidy card. It's like, nigga, I said it, I, I much, we, I said, I apologize, Sirius Jones. I forgive you for not taking that big K battle if this is what you gave us. Because I know what you gave us in this was not going to be that. Because first of all, you're on the stage, so you're trying to perform more. Therefore, you're not going to be back-to-back punching. And, and even though big K is a puncher too, and one of the most respected punchers in the game, he ain't no rum nitty. <laughs> so you knew like you could have died, died in a small room versus rum nitty. So you changed up the game plan, changed up your style and it, and it worked um but uh yeah once again I had a sli- I gave a slight edge to Sirius Jones uh, I know niggas gonna try to discredit you but I'm not I'm not um once again this is our first watch um but um and I'm gonna say this I know niggas shout out to I believe CC on the air said this Niggas started, oh man, just niggas, man, people just really don't like niggas, man. I think mean, it's like, when the people don't really, like, they 50 cent Ja Rule, like, they like, well, they really don't like a nigga, they really don't like a nigga. Sirius Jones was emotional at the end, and I, I can respect it, he lost 100K. But he feel, in his heart of hearts, he won. And he had a right to feel that way. And niggas like, uh, even Diaz had it, said it, because uh, Sirius Jones did what he's supposed to do. He shook his opponent's hand. And he left. He didn't need to stay up there. What are you going to fucking stay up there for? They don't even ask the nigga, the, they don't even ask the, the person that lost questions outside of, how do you feel? What do you think? Did you feel like you won? Like, there's no point in fucking doing that. Sirius Jones was saying after the battle the whole time before the judges made a judgment. He was like, I felt like I won that. I felt like I won that. Like, we don't need a fucking, Sirius Jones didn't need to be up there. For what? Like, <laughs> it's funny how, uh, I wasn't going to bring this up. It was it was hilarious. It was awkward and funny. Like, I love that cringy shit. When Yoshi, Yoshi was up there and like they like kind of like shooing her away like they weren't even like noticing her after they asked how drugs was doing I don't even think they asked what, how Yoshi felt at all like they kind of just like acting like she wasn't even up there so I'm like 
<laughs> okay. But um, that's just all that country shit. But um, yeah, serious. I'm interested in what you do next, man. I hope you don't drop the ball. I hope you pick the ball up after this and get a plate and do wreck because just know if you don't do what you're supposed to do, you're going to be right back to where you was. Same for Cortez, same for Jack Boy, same for all these niggas that people doubt and people don't have much respect for, have the respect they should. Okay, so Sears Jones, I don't know who your next opponent going to be, who, but you need to do work, bro. That's all I'm going to say. Last but not least, I'm not even going to spend much time on this because I know people going to have 50-minute blogs on this. <sighs> Cass, K KCJ. Twerk. First of all, KCJ. Shout out to you, Queen. You, you did what you were supposed to do. You won. Going on to the next round. My only advice to you is, I don't agree with what Tony Bro and everybody was saying. Here's what I think they should have said to you. Don't let your foot up off the gas. Keep your same, keep the energy. When, when we say keep the foot off the gas, I mean, you were just saying in bars, you were like, I'm a nin, I'm a nin, nin, I'm a nin, 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 no, keep it, like, keep the, keep the energy, stay aggressive, be in a nigga face, okay, and have conviction behind your shit. Your material was dope. But it sounded like you were trying to remember it, even though I know you knew your material. But you didn't have no conviction in your shit. Even though I know you were mad that Torque was choking and all that different thing. Still, still do, look what Core did. You gotta keep, you gotta, you gotta keep the same energy. I don't care what your opponent does, keep the same energy. Because, depending on, on how the battle go, you not have conviction, it could cost you a battle. And the, crowd was not helping you at all they were not trying to cheer you at all but i'm gonna get to that in a second no i'm gonna get to that now uh once again i said in the beginning of this video smack who everybody else i'm very very disappointed in you i am y'all were trying to give casey j no type of love at all y'all are very biased very 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 biased y'all keep cradling and babying this brother twerk bro that's all y'all do. And I was trying not to say it in other predictions, but I, 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 it's been bothering me for years. You let this brother, he's phenomenal. You keep letting this brother say mediocre shit and get away with it. You keep letting this nigga choke in battles and he gets booked for two, two battles after that. Like you keep letting this nigga get away with shit time at a time at a time at a time at a time and do nothing. You do nothing at all. And then he goes there and chokes, and then smack talking about, yeah, this was a crazy one. Like, y'all don't, don't ever, ever penalize that man. You don't ever make him sit down. You don't ever make him, you like, you don't ever give him an incentive to do better because he knows he can go in the next car. He was crying in the parking lot versus Swamp. But if it wasn't for a, a, fortunate, uh, a fortunate accident, he would have been on the next car. He was scheduled for the next car. I forget versus, versus who. But he was scheduled for... Somebody, I believe A Ward. I, I want to say A Ward. He was scheduled for A Ward on, on an upcoming car. On an upcoming car. So like, it's like you don't give this nigga incentive not to do bad. Like you don't. And it really pissed me off that you weren't giving Casey J no type of love at all. It was nasty work. Very nasty. I'm disappointed in Smack and all the only people that won the stage at that time. Very disappointed, man. That was nasty work. Speed of nasty work. New Jersey twerk. You can take it as parody, satire, whatever you want. I'm very honest in what I say. We don't need you. We don't need people who are going to sit up here and mess up their blessings. We don't need he people who are not going to take advantage of the talent. How many times do we have to keep saying potential, 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 potential? The worst thing in the world is wasted potential. That's the worst thing in the goddamn world. And you are the epitome of that. Because everybody can say, twerk on a hundred, twerk on a hundred, twerk on a hundred, twerk on a hundred, twerk on a hundred. That's all people say. Twerk on a hundred, twerk on a hundred. But twerk's on a hundred, he can a hundred. It's like, nigga, how many fucking times, four and a half years, do we have to keep saying it when twerk is on a hundred? <laughs> it's like, God dang, man. 
my bad, 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 y'all, my bad. I don't care what your situation, I do not care. It's different if it happens once, maybe twice. But after that, it's every battle, bro. Every battle. And because you're so talented, we keep wishing for you to can't, I can't, is it you that I called can't get, no, I think it was somebody else. But I think, I wanna say it was somebody else. But you are can't get right. You just can't get right. Life, with Eddie Murphy and, and Martin Lawrence, you can't get right. I don't know, 100K could have motivated you, bro. 100K could have motivated you. 100K could have motivated you. 100K, like really think about that, say that out loud. 100K could not motivate me to have two and a half, three rounds that I remember and wrote and remember. If that can't do it, nothing does. So at this point, this job just ain't for you. It's not for you. Go do your music. I'm dead ass. Jerusalem, in my opinion, is the best project that's been put out in 2021 thus far. Go do music. Go do acting. Go join Verb. Do his little acting. I don't care. But this is not for you. We don't have time no more for you to be taking up people's spaces. When there's people that are really hungry. Really hungry and deserve a spot. And deserve the spotlight. Like a First Lady Flames, like a Vincent the Assassin, like a Riggs, like a Prep, somebody that's really have improved, deserve your spot, and you're just taking up space. You're taking people, you're taking up people's space. You really are. You really are. So do better up a service and just leave. And if you come back, be prepared. It's like, you know what? I'm not even gonna do that, bro. Like just leave, bro. You don't, you don't want this. Nobody does something for four and a half years. And, 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 and I can't think of one job, one thing, one passion somebody does for four and a half years that doesn't give you this, its full potential, full uh, potential ever. Like you never given this your full potential ever, ever. Maybe the closest was Shotgun Shug, where you were clean all three, put on all three. Maybe that's one battle, four and a half years. So, this you, you obviously don't have patch for this. Find something else. Don't block your blessings. Maybe music is for you. Maybe it's meant for you to just do music. Maybe it's meant for you to do all these other things. I see you on uh, I see you on IG or whatever with the, uh, Roy Jones and s sipping wine with CeeLo Green. Nigga, do that. That's your lane. This is not for you. Like, obviously, this is not for you. Just move on, bro. Just move on. I got no time no more. It's the last time I'm ever going to speak on your name. I don't care if you have a battle coming up. I don't care what it is. This is the absolute time. I think I said in my predictions. Was it you? No, it was something else. No, 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 never mind. It was something else. But um, this is the last time I'm ever going to speak your name, bro. I don't care what you do. Now, if you have a fire project, music project, a mixtape, or EP, or album, I will review that. Because obviously, you're, you're more passionate about that, even though it took forever to get that, but... That, that was five stars, five mics. Like, that was phenomenal, right? Top to bottom. My favorite project of 2021 thus far. Stick to music. Stick to stick to that. Stick to something else. Because this ain't for you. And that's how I feel. Um, but that was Ultimate Madness 3. The tournament. Uh, a lot of brackets were fucked up. I was two. I want to say I was like two for six. Like, look. The only, perp the only people I had win. No. I have prep. Geechee and Rum. Everybody else. Yep. I only have three people, so I was three for five. <laughs> three for five, so. But um, that's not a bad thing. Uh, I'm interested to see what Jack Boy is going to do with Core. Um, well, I'll do the predictions but two, in two weeks from now. I'm not going to do that now. It's already an hour blog. I'm surprised if y'all even still, still sitting here. I might have to cut this up. But, um,. <laughs> we could potentially have Jack Boy. I mean, that's the only like. Yeah, we could potentially have Jack Boy, Cortez in the final four. 
drugs in the final four. Casey J's not a shot. That's why I'm not a shot. Yeah, but it's just like, it, it should be interesting now. I still have Rumnity and Geechee winning, going to the finals, but we're, we're going to see. Kate, now things things have changed. I had prep. I had originally twerk going getting past Casey and losing the prep. Now we got Casey versus Prep. I don't fucking know that. I have no idea. And then you got Swamp versus Geechee. Oh my god! Like I'm wait. I'm thinking I'm more excited now than I was for these original battles. And we got Ron versus Drugs to rematch. And then we got Jack versus Cole. Who everybody counted out. Let's see what happens. But this is a uh, battle rap. Hold it down. Got the crown, baby.